What up guys? So, eto another tutorial in Python. Basically, not another tutorial kasi um, may na-record na kasi ako guys to be uploaded na um, yung isa kong video or record na nung pag-install ng Python sa machine mo. So, basically, um, mauna sana yun. So, pero naisip ko, why not make an, an introduction, like a presentation, something like that. For, um, para ma-explain ko pa kung ano ang Python kasi hindi ko naman kasi doon na-explain kasi lalo na kasi sa mga beginners dyan yun, yun, you know so, eto um, just a simple um, like a uh, brief explanation lang kung ano ang Python so, yun guys uh, eto so, we have here Python so, ayan basahin nyo na lang so, basically Python is an interpreted um, high-level general purpose programming language so, basically isa lang sa pinakamaraming um, language, programming language sa buong mundo. Um, by the way, Python ha, hindi yung ahas. <laughs> yun, so, um, isa lang siya sa mga programming languages sa buong mundo and technically, um, the most powerful as of now. Oh, so isa sa pina, which is pinakasikat ngayon, kahit magtanong ka sa mga ibang programmers dyan, ano bang ginagamit mo, ano bang the best Python ang sasagutin niyan sa iyo. So ganun. Um, yan basahin niyo na lang. So basically, I just, gusto ko mag-focus dito sa high level programming language. So yan gusto ko gusto mong focus diyan sa ano tawag sa sa term na to na high level programming language. So basically, ang Python kasi guys is a high level programming language. So anong ibig sabihin noon? I mean, anong ibig sabihin noon? So basically, guys, kapag Uh, ang Python, ang Python kasi is um, the one of the reasons is um, kung bakit kinoconsider ang Python na um, ang tawag din na high level programming language is isa sa mga naisip ko is um, unang una napakadali everything is easy as I've said in Python sinab um, which is ano sinabi ko noon kasi sa ibang video sa ibang record ko na ang Python is very very easy kahit guys kahit um, high school student, kahit isang high school student, kaya-kayang, you know, can learn Python, kaya niyang matutunan ng Python, kahit nga isang um, student na hindi computer-related ang course, kahit hindi comsa or IT or any other computer-related course, kahit, for example, isang art student, kayang-kayang, kaya guys, um, kayang-kayang matutunan ang Python, yun. So, kasi, as I've said, um, yun nga, super dali ng Python and also um, ano, pa, ano pa nga yun naisip ko is maraming uses ang Python, maraming gamit siya guys in other um, like sa larangan ng computer science and um, yun, sa larangan ng computer science mamaya I'll explain further on that so basically, uh, meron ako dito um, i-recommend sa inyong site na like a forum, so eto yung site lalagay ko to sa description down below so nag binasa ko lahat yung mga for yung mga explanation ng ibang tao kung bakit daw high level ang Python, ganon. So, basically, I'll suggest na lang na, ano, you can read. So, binasa ko itong lahat. Then, eto, kinuha ko yung pinaka, like, na, na, like, na thumbs up ko na, eto yung pinaka the best para sa akin na inexplain ng guy na to. So, basically, you can read it. Yun. So, yun. So, ano ngayon? So, basically, um, yun. Basically, as I've said, um, Python, isa lang sa mga pinakamaraming, I mean, sa, isa sa mga programming languages sa buong mundo. Uh, yeah. So, what can you develop in Python? Basically, anong mga things or, uh, yeah, mga programs ang kaya mong i-develop in, in Python? So, basically, in Python, um, you can do data science. And data science, guys, is, um, it's like a, Yeah, um, data science is uh, like a field in, you know, isa sa field rin ng computer science where, where you deal with data, like you, sometimes you predict, ganon, you classify, basta I'll explain it later. Uh, ayoko kasi mag-focus muna sa mga, like every detail ng ganito. Just, just want to say na mag-focus dito kung anong nagagawa ng Python, anong kaya mong gawin in Python. So basically, you can search na lang about kung ano to. Yun. So, is, uh, and many more ha. Hindi lang hanggang dito sa examples lang to. Isa lang sa mga kaya mong gawin in Python. etong mga linagay ko dito. So, marami pa. So, um, eto, you can do web development and possibly yon kasi may mga tinatawag na yung Python frameworks which is Django and Flask. So, gusto mong gumawa ng 
website, pwede mo pwede. Check, gusto mong gumawa ng desktop applications with database, pwede mo pwede. Um, yung mga GUI frameworks, eto which is TK Inter, um, PyQt5, yun. Mobile applications, pwede mo pwede. Meron rin ng mga frameworks for developing mobile um, application which is etong Kiwi. Ang Kiwi kasi guys is a um, GUI, Graphical User Interface um, Framework in Python. So basically pwede mo siyang iano daw sa ano. Nakita ko kasi sa ibang forums ulit na you can ano deploy this sa uh, mobile. Yun. So um, also for game development, gusto mong gumawa ng laro, uh, basically you have the Pi game also, is framework rin ata or to, or library, I don't know. Basta ito, you can use this, ano, for game development. Pero, I think, if, kung gusto mo maging game developer, I think, mas maganda yung, ano, ang tawag yung, ang tawag doon, Unity. Oh, Unity, which is basically, C Sharp, I think, ang ginagamit doon. So, basically, web scraping. Ano bang web scraping? Basically, guys, like, getting data from websites, like, for example, sa Lazada, sa webpage ng Lazada, gusto mong kunin yung mga prices ng kada, for example, nag-search ka ng gaming keyboard, gusto mong kunin yung mga prices ng kada gaming keyboard doon. So, basically, web scraping, yun. So, you're dealing it kasi sa, um, you're getting data from the HTML code. So, yun. So, basically, um, in-explain, eto yun, binanggit ko namin ko itong, um, may mga sinabi ako things about dito sa lahat except dito sa data science kasi gusto ko yan i, i, parang last ganon. So, basically, sa data science kasi guys is, um, as I've said, sa larangan kasi ng data science, sikat dyan ng Python. Like, you, gusto mong, you wanna do data science? Gusto mong mag data science? Like, Python ang pinaka the best na... Para sa akin na, kasi meron rin kasing R, so yun. R, ang mga languages kasing yan is, R is another language for statistical computing for ano, ganyan. So basically, sa larangan ng data science, larangan ng data science, and gusto mong mag, um, you wanna do data science with Python, basically, in Python, gusto mong mag-apply yung, ang tawag dyan, you want to um, apply machine learning in Python, or deep learning, machine learning and deep learning, pwede. Check. You can do that in Python. Easily, guys. Easily. Super dali. So, basically, sa, la, sa, sa point na, I mean, sa, dito sa machine learning and deep learning kasi, karamihan ditong ginagawa yung, which is part ng, uh, I believe, part ng data science. So, you like classify things. For example, gusto mong i-classify if, ang um, picture na to is aso or dog. I mean, aso or dog. Um, cat or dog, and also, gusto mong i-classify if a certain text or a sentence is a positive comment or a negative comment, something like that. So, pwede mo yung gawin in Python, so, so, which is under machine learning and deep learning. Also, natural language processing. Um, basically, natural language processing, guys, is ganito. A simple um, like explanation. It is the, ano tawag dyan? Nabasa ko, it is, it is the, um, parang interaction between, um, ang tawag dyan, human and, at saka yung computer with, um, yung tawag dyan, yung natural language. For example, ganito, um, ganito sa simpleng tanong. Basta it's um, between the interaction between, you know, computer and human sa natural language. Simpleng tanong, paano mo, ikaw, programmer ka, paano mo mapapaintindi sa computer kung ang isang sentence nga is positive or negative? Paano masasabi ng computer, like ikaw, programmer ka, o bigyan mo yung computer ng isang sentence, paano malalaman ng computer na positive or negative yan? Yan na sentence na yan, ganun. So basically, that's it. So, um... The NLP is dealing with, um, uh, tawag dyan, with natural language, which is basically, uh, yeah, you, you know. So, also, you want to do, um, image processing, like, uh, image processing, guys, as I've said, like, gusto mong, for example, may isa kang larawan, gusto mo bang uh, malaman kung alin dito ang mga objects, something like that. And also, under image processing is also face detection, face recognition. Face detection is just um, detecting the face, kung may muka ba dyan. And recognition, face recognition is uh, recognizing kung sinong yung muka na yon. So, basically, as I've said, guys, marami pang iba, 
you can do a lot of stops in Python. And eto mga sinasabi ko is just, isa lang yun sa mga napakaraming kung anong kaya mong gawin in Python. I suggest na you search uh, um, sa Google kung anong mga to. So basically yan. So basically, sa thesis kasi namin, what ang ginagawa kasi namin is, um, etong machine learning tsaka natural language processing. So, yun. Kaya, in-include ko to dito. So, yeah. Which is, I believe, NLP is part of data science. Yun. Kasi, we're, nagdi-deal rin kasi kami ng data eh. So, ganun. So, basically, guys, um, yun lang naman. Um, that's it. Um, as I've said, um, sinabi ko na to sa isang tutorial, tutorial video which is nauna kong na-record. If you are a guy, if you are, um, if you are, a person na nanonood nito, which is may experience ka na in other languages, well, may experience ka na in other languages, ha? like, for example, may experience ka na in Java, in other languages, well, good, um, as I've said, madaling madali lang naman ang Python, so, may advantage ka na, well, madaling madali na lang to sa'yo, kahit nga, um, isulat ko lang yung code, may intindihan mo na agad, pero, sa mga, if you're a beginner, okay lang yan, cause, as I've said, sinabi ko sa isang video ko doon. So, una, unahin ko na tong i-upload. <laughs> so, which is, ano, okay lang naman kasi I'll assume that everyone na nanonood nito is a beginner. Like, beginner ka in Python. Okay? Beginner ka in Python. So, I'll, um, i-assume ko na lahat ng nanonood nito, ng mga tutorials ko is which is dito sa Python, is beginner in Python. So, yun. So, as I said, i-explain ko hanggat sa kaya ko. I mean, to the point na talagang gusto kong mag-guess nyo is something like that. So, yun guys. So, if may experience ka na, so good for you. Nice. Okay lang yan. So, mga hindi, sa mga beginners talaga in Python, okay lang yan. So, walang problema. So, thanks so much guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe again. So, I suggest na you search guys about kung ano to. Lalo na, lalong lalo na dito sa data science part na kaya mong gawin in Python cause sa ngayon kasi guys um, ang Python kasi is sikat sa larangan ng data science to be honest. Yeah. Sa larangan ng data science, Python ka rin may ginagamit. Like, makakita kayo ng, for example, uh, software na nag-detect ng face. So, basically, it's written in Python. <laughs> yun. Um, mar malaki ang chance na written siya in Python. So, yun guys. Thank you so much again. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, yun. If may tanong lang kayo, just comment down below. So, I hope na nag-enjoy kayo. May natutunan kayo. So, thank you so much guys. And, I'm out.